Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is my buddy here that's gonna help me out. This is Anagy. Now, uh, you guys may have heard or seen that name before. He's actually the one that uh, made up the intro to all of my uh, videos here. So, and if you guys ever wanna check his stuff out, go down there in the description below. We have a link to his website. Um, we're also gonna link his uh, Vimeo uh, down there where he has a lot of his little intros that he's done for different companies and everything So if you need anything, don't forget to uh, check him out and see if he has something that you're interested in uh, anyhow uh, One thing I do want to say about my buddy here. He is ex-marine uh, He was uh, basically you were were you a sniper at some point to an extent? I was not a sniper. Just, okay, just uh, Infantry infantry, okay, but of course one thing about the Marines is that they are known to be the best shooters out of any of the uh, armed forces that we have in the U.S. at least. The motto is, every Marine is a rifleman first. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to uh, grab the extension pieces that we need for doing some cleaning. And we do have an AR-15 that is relatively dirty that needs to be cleaned up. All right, guys, so we've got a handful of the pieces here. Uh, have. Uh, this one's gonna be for our uh, little cleaners here, and then the other piece is going to be for uh, the brushes. Now, what are these called again? Bore patches. Bore patches. So this is gonna be used to push the bore patches through. Yeah. And the way and you, it's just threaded. The way you usually do it is you thread that puppy on there, and you stuff it through, you thread it like a needle. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just, you pull it through until such time as you get tension. All right. And then it'll go down the barrel and actually clean it. Okay, good deal. Um, and then we also have another piece that goes on the end of this that's actually if this gets left inside the barrel It actually pushes it out through and what's that called? It's it's a ram. You can actually it's, push it's an actual ram. You okay. can push um, These straight through by, okay by pushing the ram down through the okay the actual breach Okay, that makes sense uh, And we are going to use what the 22 is that correct? Yes. Okay, so the, the rifle we're cleaning is a is a 223 Remington 556 NATO, which is 22 caliber. Okay, okay, so there we go. I'll give you that, and you can put it on the end there. All right, so safety first. We have to actually make sure that the rifle is clear. Okay, and that's three times to make sure there's nothing in the chamber, correct? Three times is safe. Look down to make sure there's no brass. Okay. Then it's disassemblable. So. Right. We have to pop the back, the rear takedown pin. Okay. And then the rifle will hinge open. All right. Now the parts that we need to clean are the innards because they are filthy because I used it in the competition. Okay. So pull back on the charging handle, the bolt carrier group slides out. Now you will note that the bolt carrier group is going to be disgustingly dirty. And so will the inside of the rifle. Okay. I think we're going to concentrate primarily on this and the bore. Right. So ordinarily what you would do is force this particular cleaning rod through the barrel to the end. It'll come out the end, Okay. draw it back, do it a couple more times. I hope I'm not shaking the table too hard. No, you're doing all right. That's fine. And you'll note that there's some crud. And oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's not brush. it's not clean clean brass anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. Okay. Um, uh, let's go ahead and we'll just set that off to the side. They are disposable parts. You use okay. them until they wear out. And you can do the same with one of the cleaning patches. Okay. Now these cleaning patches come in as a a, a sheet. rectangle. Yeah, yeah. We had the rectangles that come out there full like that. So we cut them in half because this is a smaller bore. Yes, 22s and 243s, they, they are a much smaller bore. Right. So you don't want to use the full sheet because it, it'll be almost impossible to force through the bore, as you can see. Yeah. And you can see oh, wow, quite clearly pretty. how disgusting it gets. Yes. yes. And I usually draw them back through. A lot of people don't do that because of the fact that they think it just puts the dirt back. But if you look at both sides. Yeah, you're you're using opposite sides yeah. of it when you're doing it. They're both so, healthy. Yeah, and you yeah, look at that. I mean, you can see that against the white there. Um, that is that is pretty dirty. So, now, and as that's a, all carbon from that, firing. That's all gunk from shooting. Okay. Uh, the next thing you want to do is actually use some of that REM oil okay. because okay. it acts as a solvent. So we will give it a little squirt. Yeah, 
to go ahead and over shoot off over that surface. way. There we go. Just enough. Okay. Now, I know that uh, my senior drill instructor would be really angry with me for not using CLP, but we're using REM oil. Yeah, that's what's available right now, so. And you see how it gets oh my. quite a bit dirtier? That's actually worse, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll draw it back through, give everybody a, a good look at it. Yeah, that's, I mean, that is, that's horrible compared, even compared to the first one. I mean, the first one looks clean compared to that. That's, that's the gross. The solvent, actually, the, the job of the solvent is to get rid of the copper and fouling of right. the barrel. Okay. And you do that a couple more times. Now, ideally, we would do this till it's clean. Eh, we don't want to put you through all that. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, clean up this uh, the bolt carrier here a little bit. And again, we're just going to do a real basic thing with that. Um, we've got some, uh, some extra towels and stuff. We, of course, have some of the solvent and stuff like that, whatever you need, as much as I've got well, here available. Anytime at all that you deal with burning anything, you're going to get a lot of carbon fouling. And it's, right. Let's see. I have a nice white one here. This, as you can see, my fingers were clean. They're not now. I'm gonna drag this down the charging oh, wow. handle, and this is just a normal part of shooting. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't even, I, that's something, I wouldn't have really thought about the charging handle getting like real dirty. It's, it's, it's behind it's just the gas so, tube. Okay, all so the gas tube carbon. is literally blowing all that stuff right across it. All the carbon comes right back into the bolt housing area. Okay, holy cow. And it turns cow. into this. Yeah. Now, again, I would actually spend some time making this spotless. Okay. Um, We're just doing a quick, a, a yes. kind of a quickie, just so everybody can kind of see what this looks like. Disassembly of the bolt carrier group. You start with the firing pin retaining pin, okay. and it gets quite filthy. Um, we used to clean these with uh, anything at all we could find. Uh, Q-tips, more of the bore patches. You can kind of fit them in between the little groove here because it's more more or less a cotter pin okay. but you can see the carbon gets literally oh i didn't even carbon. realize there was a, a slit in it like that yeah okay all right so this again it would need clean more than i just did but that's good that's the basics we're again we're just covering the basics um obviously you do it until it's properly clean so you're not getting any more dirt and crap off of it right and what i just did was drop the firing pin so you drop the firing pin out the rear and you can see how disgusting this is. Oh yeah. Now this, I mean, it looks like it's supposed to be silver, but it looks like it's like, yes. it, it looks like it's tarnished. It's, it's not tarnished, it's just caked with old nasty carbon. And this is one of the easiest things in the world to clean. You just wipe it off. Yeah. With the exception of occasionally you'll get a carbon ring here. Okay. And people usually use dental picks to get rid of this. Okay. But most of the time you can scrape it off with a fingernail. Okay. Dental picks and dental cleaning tools do a wonderful job of getting rid of that stuff. But as you can see, the vast majority of it just rubs right off. Yeah, and that's now, nice, and, nice and shiny. You can give it a little squirt just to dissolve that gunk and set it aside. Come back to it once it's uh, dissolved all that yeah, nasty. Yeah, give it time to soak. The next step is you push back the bolt. This is the bolt face. Okay. And in here you'll notice that there's a little cam pin it moves with the bolt and turns and you actually have to turn it to remove it because the gas tube mounts into the bolt here and you actually have to turn it to be able to slide it out of the hole this the bolt, the firing pin passes through this hole okay which is why when the firing pins in you can't remove this bit okay but as you can see this gets oh yeah well that's going to be gross too. too especially since i mean you already had a lot on the firing pin I love the word disgusting for this because yes. it's not that bad. Right. <laughs> it's just dirty. It's just yeah, it's carbon. Yeah. For the most part. I mean, there's some kind of m metallic particulate in there as well. It's uh, it's mostly carbon and copper. Yeah. Yeah, basically. the copper was what I was kind of thinking. I mean, yeah, you you because most of your stuff's jacketed, so you wouldn't really get lead too much. Right. You can actually use that 17 brush to go into here and clean that out if okay. you so desired. Oh, okay. We wouldn't do that now, but you could. The next thing, the bolt itself comes out of the bolt carrier group, this being the bolt carrier group, and you can further disassemble this. I, I might do that just because of the fact that I know what's under here is really gross. Okay. So, 
you press this pin through enough so that you can grab it. You push down right here, this, this little bit here. Okay. And that gives you enough leverage that you can pull the extractor pin out and give it a good Okay. Weld. Okay, so that's the extractor pin. This All is right. the extractor pin, and then that makes the extractor come off of the bolt. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of space in there, and they make special tools to clean these things, but you're not allowed to use them for the most part in the Marine Corps, which doesn't make much sense. That, seem, that does seem kind of odd. I, w I would see you guys maybe, um, just because of course all the movies say, show everybody sitting there on their hands and knees scrubbing when, when Gunny's behind you telling you what to do. That is and typically how I would how figure that's, that's what you do is use like an old toothbrush to clean them out. Yeah, and, and as, as a matter of fact, the cleaning kit that comes with a, an M16 or an M4 okay. fits into the buttstock and I can show that later if you like. And uh, it does come with what's called a cleaning brush. Okay. It's got a short bristle end and a uh, a long bristle end that you can use to scrape in the little nooks kind and crannies. Kind of dig it out and... I, uh, nice. I, don't, I don't use that anymore because it's less friendly than modern tools. Okay. I use it... I used it when uh, I had to. Right. So, give the giving the extractor a good rub down. And again, ordinarily I would actually spray these things down to let them soak a bit so that all the carbon floats off because that saves a ton of time and effort. But so as just you kind can of see, sit there and you can, in a sense, just you lay it there or even throw it in a, like a little plastic bin or something like that and just shower it down and let her sit. Yeah, they they, uh, they used to allow us to hot tank them. Can't do that anymore. Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, because, well, hot tanking would almost be the same idea as doing the steam cleaning on like jewelry, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, well, they think of how clean jewelry comes when you pull it out from... Uh, from the jeweler when they do that that's that's awesome i can only imagine what these would look like now ordinarily we would hit this with uh q-tips get down in there and really because a, a nice wood handled q-tip will go all the way up to the firing pin face and this this is an ejector pin okay almost never will anyone take that out it, uh, it just it's as a matter of fact i don't think it's user serviceable in the military okay army or marine corps okay but uh you can run a piece of cloth through this bit, give it a twist. Mm -hmm. Anyway, at this point, the last thing to wipe down is the actual bolt carrier. Uh, it is going to be pretty nasty. Yeah, I mean, we've already taken that. That thing was that thing was white. Yes. I mean, there was there wasn't really anything on it. Yeah, this this cloth is going to be uh, relatively useless after this. Yeah. <laughs> But it is just carbon, so we should be able to yeah, wash, wash it out. a little bit and it should be able to come out. Don't dry it with stains, though. It'll, uh, it'll be permanent then. Yeah. But uh, you can also, when you do this bit, you take a cloth and you push it through, and drag it. That solves a lot of problems. As you can see, you can reach through and grab the, well, your fingers are small enough pull it through until it gets stuck and pull it back out. It's kind of like the bore brush only okay. smaller. Um, typically people don't clean the gas tube because it's just a gas tube. Uh, you will find, you, if you, which you can't see down in here, but there, you, you will find that a ton of carbon fouling gets stuck between the, the inside of the bolt carrier group and the bolt. So that's when you use scraper tools or this really nifty other method mm -hmm. where you take the 20 gauge or the 410 brush or a 45 brush and you can actually stick it down there and break it all loose. Okay. Um, you see a big chunk of carbon that fell out? Oh yeah. There's a, yeah, that is yeah. Pretty, pretty decent sized chunk right there. You can do this number right here and break loose a lot of the junk. I guess we got most of it. Okay. The same thing happens here, but as you can see... Yeah, oh yeah, that's dirty. I mean, that's that's not the nice clean brass that it was. It would take a lot longer to get this thing spotless. Yeah. So the next uh, the next bit is to all that stuff I knocked loose. Yeah. Drag it through here. <laughs> anyway, so that is a partially cleaned, but not thoroughly cleaned, uh, bolt carrier group. All right, so, well, that's just a basic 
that's just a real basic cleaning. I mean, obviously we're down into some small parts and everything, but that's still a basic cleaning. We haven't done like a thorough cleaning, which would get a lot more of the weapon, the rifle um, taken apart, as well as, um, you know, into the, the barrel. There's more stuff in the barrel area that we would take care of Significantly as well. More. So, but, uh, but yeah, that'll get you what more functionality and everything, right? Well, what it does is it prevents it, it, it removes some of the variables that could pre prevent feed or performance issues. Okay. Because... Okay. Like you were saying, jams and yes. things like that. Okay. Uh, they okay. are. They use tight tolerances, and the tighter the tolerance is, the less friendly to debris. Okay, debris. yeah, yeah, exactly. And that makes, that makes obviously, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this again. Like I said, it's just very a very uh, small part of, you know, kind of doing it, but it gives you a general idea. Uh, it's a pretty decent breakdown, show you. I mean, I know we don't have a nice tight tight look on this, but it's it's gonna give you a gist of, of what to do. And again, this is something that, uh, if you have any type of uh, firearm or something like that, you should learn how to clean it properly so that, uh, you know, you can continue firing it and firing it safely. Uh, anyhow, uh, again, my name's Cougar. This is Anachi, and as you can see... Don't be afraid of the dirt. It won't hurt you. Yeah, it's just carbon. It's just and carbon. maybe a little bit of copper or something like that, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, that'll do it for us uh, here on World of Me. I'd like to wish you guys all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!